so in this video I'm going to be designing an animal character and I really wanted to design something um, kind of like cartoony and um, and cute and fun but it didn't end up being too cartoony it's pretty uh it's not realistic but it's definitely not as stylized as I initially thought it was going to be um, so as you could see at the beginning I used a random animal generator it gave me a cow but I decided to do a bull and I think the bull kind of looks like a cow with horns um, but there are bulls with that coloring um, maybe I just didn't make the bull like muscular enough to look like a bull but it, it's a bull and I also used a random character generator website from artprompts.org um, which is a pretty popular site for random art prompts and I got I, I kept refreshing it until I got one that inspired me and it was a newspaper boy from the 1920s so I looked up some reference photos for that and some reference photos for cows and I came up with a cow that delivers a newspaper and I think the sketch turned out having a lot more energy than the final one did. I also looked at some cow skeletons to get a feel for how their joints work and their legs, just like a quick little study. It kind of helped me understand their hooves better and just the way their legs bend and all that stuff because a lot of animals like that, um, they have so many bony joints and it can be difficult to pinpoint all of them. And I really wish I made this more cartoony and more exaggerated, but I really want to play with this cow concept some more. So I might do some sketches for Instagram, just like um, develop the character a bit more. So if I end up, hopefully I actually end up doing that. If I do, it'll be on my Instagram. So after I sketched it out, um, the, the pencil I'm using is, um, it's one of those Pilot Color Eno leads, but I actually put the lead inside of an orange mechanical pencil. So I used that to sketch it out because um, I just want it to be a warmer color. I didn't want to do blue or pink or anything like that. I know pink is warm, but I want it to be more like an earthy color. And I'm using a Copic Multiliner because it's one of the only ones that I have that, are, that is still reliable and still works. So I've been using my ink pens for many years and they're running out of ink and I don't want to keep buying more until I get rid of the ones that don't work or refill them or get rid of the ones with broken nibs and I actually ran out of my favorite brush pen with which is the, um, the Sakura Pigma fine brush brush pen and it's like $11 to get two of them on Amazon I don't remember it being that expensive but it's my favorite brush pen and I have another brush pen but it's not waterproof so I really need to get a replacement so that I can start using it again because it just works really well for line art. Um, you can vary the width really well. I had a lot of fun with this artwork. I I took my time a lot. Um, I paid attention to detail. I tried to add as much detail as I could in the bags of the, of the bowl. And I tried to be very detail oriented with this one.
So I'm about to color this. I just used my iPad to figure out what colors I want to go with. I figured out two options and the second one I like better. And I just need to fix the face as well. There's something off about the face I'm going to fix with gouache. Um, gouache once I do the watercolor. So I'm just going to tape it down and start painting. take a moment and give a quick shout out to my sponsor for this video which is Skillshare. You've probably heard of Skillshare before, I say this every time, um, but Skillshare is an online learning community. There's thousands of classes in illustration, graphic design, business, technology, and more. There's a premium membership and this gives you unlimited access to all of the high quality classes on Skillshare. They're all made by people who are who know what they're doing and have something to offer. All these videos can help you to improve on a skill you already have or learn a new skill. Lately, as I mentioned in a previous video, um, I've been trying out the iPad Pro because I just bought one. I've been trying to learn Procreate and there's a whole bunch of classes on Skillshare about Procreate. One in particular is called Digital Illustration Learn to Use Procreate by Jerem Vogel. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there, and an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. I actually have a link for 500 people. It's a two-month free trial. The link will be in the description, so if you want to try it out, um, the first 500 people can get a two-month free trial for Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It really helps support my channel, um, and on to the rest of the video. I always have a lot of fun doing watercolor, um, it's just so easy to get a nice texture and blending colors is, is pretty simple and I just I just love how fluid it is. It's hard to make things stiff with watercolor, um, it almost has to have movement and I just really like the way the medium feels, I like the way it works. I'm using B paper, it's B watercolor paper, I mentioned this in a previous video but my parents picked it up at a Hobby Lobby in the States, and I've never been to the States before. I've never been to a Hobby Lobby, and I've never used B paper before uh, having this pack, but I really like the texture of it, like I said in the other video. And I'm using the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors, but I find no matter what paper I use, I never know if this is the paper or the watercolors or me using too much water or something, um, but it always leaves a really harsh outline around the the watercolors and if you know what causes this or if you know a good combination where this won't happen I, I know no matter what there's going to be an outline around watercolor that's just the way it works but sometimes I feel like with these paints um, it's just such a dark and defined line it can be distracting and I definitely find this paper um, isn't easy it isn't that easy to lift the colors off of it but I do really like the texture of it. It's really nice to work on. I hope you like this little cow character. I had a lot of fun uh, making it. It's not as cartoony or stylized as I, want it, as I wanted it to be, but I think it's a good like first serious cow drawing or bull drawing, and I had a lot of fun, and I think I learned a lot about cow anatomy. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.